Hi, members. As we approach December and some of the tough travel days of your season, we want to wish you the best. I'm going to give you a cross section of plays here from the both the women's and the men's game. And we really, again, we're going to encourage you to download these plays, use them in your pre games, show them to your partners, make it into a QA, kind of create some basketball discussions, and then make, make some lively pregame where you're, you've got some video. We really suggest you do this. Put it on your device, your iPad, something we, people can see. But um, have a great week of games and, and uh, enjoy the plays. All right, let's start, start off with a, a challenging and interesting post sequence from Vanderbilt, UConn. And you're going to see the crew actually is in a rotation. And you're going to see posts on both sides of the floor. And I want us to look at the legality of the offense and the defensive player. And then ultimately, as the center rotates down in the second post up here, as you see it come through, we are then at the point where, yes, the offensive player is in somewhat questionable legality. However, the most obvious of the contact here is the defensive swim, and that's what's called by the center official. So this is kind of one of those plays where you watch the sequence, call the obvious. I'm going to show you the sequence and UConn Bandy, and we want you to show the sequence because we want you to have clock awareness. So as the ball is being thrown out here, now it goes loose on the floor, and now the question is, as the clock runs down from 12 to 11 to 10, did that defender have possession? Consequently, did this then demand a reset? So you can see here with the crew conferences, uh, do a nice job here, and uh, they put 30 back, they do a reset and put 30 back on the clock. The key is, members, we have to be aware of all of the things that will create a reset and be aware of where the clock is at all times. Here we got a little ball screen action with a, with a roll, and I want you to read that ball defender, and when you look at this play, you have to read what that ball defender is doing. And in this case, you can see that this team, the defensive team, is in a switch mode. And they're, they're switching the ball screen. If, if that defender was trying to get over or under to the ball, that play would look different. But in this case, even though the big's rolling, it's a legal play. So we have another screening play here, actually shared with us by one of our members. And in comparison to the one you saw previously, let's look again at what's happening here at the screen and what, what's happening with the defender. Uh, as the offensive player rolls to the basket. So, again, clearly in switch mode, as you read the demeanor of the defender, and so she's going with a roller, uh, and that would be a legal play. All right, as we go here to Dayton, Oklahoma, uh, we're going to show you a cylinder play, which here's the criteria here. So the, the defender, as they come over here, 33, invades the space of the offensive player. And then the movements of the offensive player, number 21, are vertical movements, not horizontal. So he is legal. The 33, because he invades the space, is not. Consequently, the call there by the trail official correctly calls the illegal contact for being in the cylinder. And that is the correct signal also. Show you a little secondary defender play. And lead official does a good job with timing here. And you can see zero on defense here. And you get another look at this. He's not legal. He's also he's also in the restricted area, but the official correctly calls a block because he does not obtain a legal position. Uh, but if not, he was grounded in the Restricted area. Last play, we're going to show you this example here in Oregon State, Notre Dame. And really, we want to discuss coverage here. And this is a play where coverage changes as the sequence evolves. So if you see the offensive player, uh, 
receives the ball in the low post. Then she turns towards the middle, and as she does, it goes from lead to center. And then if you see at a point as she has her shoulders to rhythm, that really is like spins and pivots, and the trail now has the open look because the lead and center are in a closed look. So just kind of look at this from a coverage standpoint and make sure at a trail you stay engaged. 